snared on the baseline by Wardenberg. And they send it back outside of this four guard offense. The drive, the bucket, and the foul for Cameron McGusty. The last two, the first of his career with the injury to Asana Sajula, two time all conference first team selection. Out for the remainder of the month, most likely. It's Miami much quicker down the floor. Now he gets down in the lane area and he just jumps up over people. Somebody's got to find Caleb Coleman for the Hurricanes and slow him down. 19-18 in Miami. Seven and a half to go in the first oh, half. Oh, spinning finish by K.J. Johnson. His team coming off back-to-back -back impressive wins. Penn State and Clemson. Moore, just about a clear path all the way to the basket for the layup. Joseph, the freshman guard, takes a seat for the Canes. A lob for Wong. Nobody saw him coming in. A transfer from Valpo. I think he's got to get closer. That's the challenge for Lipscomb right now, too, as they trail by 11. Hurricanes have given it away on an offensive foul, a couple of charges, and there, what is recorded as an illegal screen. How about this heave down court for McGusty? Perfectly placed. What a dime. See if they continue to find McGusty. He's got 22, now make it 25. Just three off of his career high. And they can't afford those kind of plays here if they're going to try to come back. And it's an immediate turnover and a dunk at the other end for Poplar. Wong has a mismatch here. Takes advantage. Wong now up to 17 points. So I don't know that that's his optimum shot. That three goes down for Shulman. <laughs> McGusty goes baseline off balance. What else can you do but shrug? With a strong performance from McGusty with 29, Isaiah Wong with 20, they make it a comfortable 76-59 margin of victory over Lipscomb.